Hello again, Cyril. <laughs> I, uh, could you tell us about this vehicle behind you now? Um, yes, this is the Mini Cat. So, Mini Cat is a car which is a very short car, it's an urban car with three people inside, three seats, a driver in the middle, always, because uh, with a driver in the middle we have a lot of space inside. It is only 2.65 meter long, but with a huge trunk. You have 700 liter trunk, which is very big, it's quite like a Mercedes. And that gives you an idea of the volume you can have. This is because of the driver in the middle. All the technical parts are under the, the frame. Uh, there is 200 liter, 300 bars inside, and uh, with this capacity of air, you can drive the car for around 140 km in the town. But then there are some uh, other versions, like a dual energy, that enable you to drive in town with just compressed air and with uh, a combustion outside of the engine, very special thing to develop here, to have uh, less emission than a normal engine, even using a combustion, and to have a very big range because that's just depending on the volume of the tank for the what kind of uh, fuel we can burn. Yeah. So when you're going on compressed air only in urban, it gets how many kilometers again? 100 and... With just mono energy, with just air inside, it would be 140 kilometers. 140 kilometers. And the maximum range of that to, for efficiency? Uh, like how fast can this go just on air the, only? The, the maximum speed would be 110 kilometers per hour. Okay. Yes. But uh, having a dual energy engine, we will reduce the the autonomy you can have, the range you can have with just air, it will be something around 50 km, because that's enough to drive 50 in town with just air, if you have another fuel to, to use the car out, outside of the city. Okay, so the, the dual energy where you're actually burning fuel, yes. won't that produce the same emissions as a regular gasoline engine? No. Is there a difference between the burning? There, there is a lot of differences, because in a normal engine you are doing a combustion in a cylinder which is always moving piston is going up and down. In our case, we are doing a combustion outside of the engine. It is a continuous combustion with very good efficiency, and uh, there is quite no uh, NOx. HCR zero combustion is continuous, and uh, a very big advantage of this system is that it is ISO efficiency. Whatever is the speed of the car, whatever is the load on the throttle, the acceleration. I mean, if you accelerate full throttle, or if you just accelerate 10 percent. The efficiency is the same, which is not the case of a normal engine. When you decrease the acceleration, the efficiency goes down with a normal engine. Right, so the faster you go in a gas car, the more, the more efficient the port it is. fuel. No, the faster you go in a gas car, because I know. The more efficient it is with, uh, yeah. with uh, um, specific consumption. Uh, because you have your better specific consumption, the better torque you have on a normal engine. But if you leave the accelerator, this specific consumption goes up. In our case, it stays down. Well, that's quite a little complicated, okay. <laughs> yeah. but it is. Yeah. That's, well, yeah. To give you an idea, with this car and dual energy, uh, to run the car 100 km at 90 km per hour constant speed, you will burn 2 liters of diesel, gasoil, uh, diesel. Diesel. Okay. Uh, petrol. No, not petrol. Diesel. diesel. Okay. Um, so, the air you're saying is being heated outside of the engine. Outside of the engine. So the fumes of the, it doesn't go into the air? It does, but the thing is that it is a, a special combustion outside of the engine that does not produce NOx uh, and not produce HC. And CO2, CO2 is directly linked to the, the consumption of the car, so it is decreased three times less than a normal engine. Okay. Um, when the air comes out, of this vehicle or any of the uh, air, car. Uh, air car vehicles, um, is it breathable or is there? It is if you, you run a mono energy car. Mm -hmm. It is yes, breathable. Okay, it's so cold. If you, if, you, if you just put your nose next to the exhaust, you will have a, a cold. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> because the air is minus twenty. So <laughs> okay. So the purpose of heating that air is for what reason? Increased range. Oh, to the range? That, that's to, to have a car that is uh, usable in town without emission and outside of the town with very low consumption, low emissions, uh, but with a big range. That's the idea. Because this car is more or less, if you use it mono energy, it is for town and a little bit around the town, but mm -hmm. not to go on a highway. If you use this kind of car with dual energy, you can go wherever you want. And when you arrive in a city under 50 km per hour, you switch automatically on air, so without emissions. So there's no need for a person to switch from one to the no, other, it's all automatic? Automatically, under a certain speed, you switch on air. Okay. Over the speed, you switch on petrol. 
Okay, so or whatever you want. You can use uh, biofuel, you can use oil, you can burn any kind of fuel. And I think one of the better should be gas, because gas is very efficient. Yeah, okay. Only efficient for the air car. <laughs> so, no, gas, gas can be also efficient. There, there are some, some, some buses, there are some taxis, I think in New York, or they, are, they are using uh, natural gas. Mm. Because natural gas is already better than uh, normal combustion engines. Oh, really? Okay. For emissions, yes. Oh. Okay. Um, is there anything else you want to add about uh, this vehicle? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, well, uh, Minicat is a very interesting car because it is uh, long as the Smart. You know the Smart? It's very small. Yes, I've it's seen the Smart. It's long as the Smart, but with this huge volume inside, so I think it's a, it's a good car.